Hey guys, what is up? Kevin here, and uh, right now I just thought, hey, why not do like a fun little vlog thing? So right now, we're gonna be going on a vlog, but not just any kind of vlog. We're gonna be going on the live action Zelda trail vlog. So let's give this a shot, huh? Yeah. How does my hair look? All right. Anyway, I just want to start off with this vlog by saying thank you guys so much for the success and overwhelming positive review I got for Halo Retards 13 DN. I know it's not that much traction. It's only 130 views. I know Jerry the Snowman kind of over doubles that <laughs> with 300 views, but that is still a success in my eyes. So again, thank you guys so much for that. I really worked hard on that. Halo Retards was more of a passion project because it was just something I've been trying to do for at least five years and now I finally got to it so I'm just glad I put my hardest work into it and that you guys liked it and that just means the world to me that a lot of you saw it so thank you guys so much for that. So we're right here in the dome thing where the whole live action Zelda thing started. If you guys remember that's where me and Kevin walked in to fight the evil Jaden stone monster right there and we were like no and it was like yeah and stuff like that oh my god this is actually where I filmed that shot where it just went like or whatever dude this brings back so many memories like god even though I come here almost on a daily basis it's just kind of nice to share it with you guys so what's been up with me like what is new with me personally well uh not much. I I was jumping ship from one place to another. I was uh, working at this production company called Color Love. They helped produce Jerry the Snowman and Halo Retards 13. And uh, unfortunately, they just couldn't afford it anymore, so I had to get laid off. But luckily, they just kind of powered off through for the Halo Retards part. And now I'm hopefully working for Dunkin' Donuts Corporate. Actually, uh, I might sign on to something. I cannot say what exactly just yet. But I'm going to be having, I just had a meeting with them the other day and I'm about to have another meeting with them on Friday. We might be going somewhere with it, we might not. Let's just hope something does happen with that. Alright, so right now I'm at the place where I went like, Woo! And I fell over and I fought Miguel right there. Oh my god, so fucking many memories. I'm probably over exaggerating right now, but hey, I gotta entertain you guys somehow. But listen, uh, so... What else is new? Also, my, I don't know if I just talked about this in my last um, clip. I might have. My headphones probably um, got stolen the other day. My my awesome Beats black headphones, and they got stolen, and I feel so fucking bummed about that. But hey, I guess it happens. Now, what are you going to do, right? But um, hopefully I get a new set. I don't know. Maybe I can buy... Ooh, look at Squirrel. What's a Squirrel doing? Yeah, okay, doing a little Squirrel. Just going to back away there. I don't like the way you're looking at me, pal. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Yeah, and that's exactly where you think it is. Ooh, is Dark Link behind me? No? 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 He's not gonna be there. <laughs> that was an effect that Miguel did. Unfortunately, Supersonic Ward 15 managed to catch it, and it was just like, God damn, that was such a great effect. Why do you have to ruin it, man? But anyway, uh, I actually do have another thing to talk about, and it's an announcement for my Ultra Swag Time um, followers, my swaggers, if you will. And um, I'm gonna cut to that just now. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? And um, right now we're at the hill where I was spotting the two guards over there. I go over here and I'm just getting into defense mode and I jumped off that little trunk right there, yo. Uh, it's actually funny how this production worked. In one frame of this, um, uh, one frame of Live Action Zelda 3 Part 1, you can actually see my producer at the time, Samantha Lazuski, in the background. Uh, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of funny and a kind of cool Easter egg. Uh, at the time we had like a cooler and a few other people because um, we needed drinks and stuff. It was a very fucking hot day. Uh, we were right there, red cooler and all. And uh, yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, I said another update for you. I'm gonna cut to that in just a sec. All right, this is where I had my legendary battle with Dark Link. We fought around here, we fought around here. I buried him right there and I ran off my, my very mere way that way. I'm stuttering, am I? So uh, I said I had an update for you guys, and I'm gonna just walk and do this. And the update is, is that I just made a deal with my old high school, Maris High School, and they just gave me back my two videos. 
Uh, they were Christmas videos. I was supposed to give them to you a while ago, but I'm hopefully going to release them now. Next week on Tuesday, I believe, or Monday, I got to check. I'll put a little text right here on the actual day. But on that day, I'm going to be releasing a hubby bubby Christmas. Yes, I know, a month after Christmas, but uh, screw it, you know. <laughs> uh, then the following week, I'm going to be releasing a second Christmas special, but it's more like the fallout of Christmas itself. And it's called Santa Die Hard. I am pretty sure you guys are gonna like what we're gonna do with that one. Ah, uh, that one's just so much fun. I'll do a vlog on where we film that when it comes out. It is just, uh, it's in my opinion, one of my best shot films. And last but not least, we are currently developing a Valentine's Day special for Ultra Swag Time. It is supposed to, I'm not going to talk much about it just for the sake of a surprise, but it's supposed to be some kind of feel-good video, and I think you guys are going to like what we do with that. Hopefully you do. Alright, so right now I'm on the live actions of the trail, and you might be wondering, why does everything look so different? It's because they've been doing construction here, actually, lately. Just making the park look a little bit better. Oh my god. I haven't actually walked here in a while, but it looks so different from what I remember. <sighs> wow, just kind of weird to think they actually threw money into this. I mean, you know, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It looks great. It's just the older look, which I think I still have on video too, is just nostalgic to me. I don't know. Eh. If I ever make a live action Zelda 4, at least I can just say, oh, we jumped. Uh, 500 years in the future or whatever and um, this is you now and this is what the world looks like you saved the world and it's prospering or if I filmed it right now before the grass grows I could be like oh the world's dying you need to save it who knows uh, right now I'm actually heading to where we filmed the um, the fight with the three guards right before Ganon and that's also where we filmed the hideout with Chris and Neo. So hopefully that hasn't been demolished. I'm hoping that hasn't been demolished. I have not walked there in a while, so I'm hoping. Let's hope. All right, so at least this is standing. This is actually the live action Zelda thing. Over that hill is where I fought those three guards, but I'm not so sure if I'm allowed to go back there. I'm. I'm not so sure if I'm even allowed to be here, but it's kind of like a whatever thing. Right over there, I don't know if you can see it much, I'll try to lift it up as much as I can. But over there is where Dead Zone, the place we used to film at for um, the Ganon versus Link fight, it was right there. And now, I mean, I'll do my best to try to show you whenever I get the chance, but right now, there are just mountains and mountains of rubble and dirt, and it's just heartbreaking because this is somewhere me and my friends grew up at. And played at and had fun at just kind of hurts to see it all go I guess so um <sighs> I'm gonna take a video moment of silence for dead zone all right so I just kind of said fuck it and come up here look what happened yo like, they didn't do much, but the plant life is dying from what it was in the summer, and it's just heartbreaking, I guess, to think that this might be demolished in the next few years. So, I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. It sucks to grow up, I'll tell you that much. Alright guys, so that was my live-action Zelda adventure. It was so freaking emotional to see everything change as you grow up. But I guess it's just part of life, right? Everything evolves and changes. All right, well, thank you so much for being on this emotional adventure with me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And see you later, guys. Peace.